I made this video to show how my ham radio packet node works. To start off, I'm already SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi. To actually connect to the node, I'm going to telnet to the local host on port 4444. Normally, you'd connect over the radio, but since I only have one radio, I'll have to use telnet to demonstrate. Once I'm connected, I have to log in using my call sign and a password that I set up earlier. Now I'm in. I type a question mark to view all the commands on my node. Then I use the nodes command to view all the nodes that my node knows about. I might not be able to see these nodes directly, but I can still connect to them through other nodes that I can see. Now I'm going to connect to the walker node. This is one of the closest packet nodes to me, so I can connect directly to it without going through any other nodes. My radio is tuned to the same frequency that the walker node is listening on. It takes a little bit to connect. Here I'm using the ax listen command to listen to the packets going back and forth. You can kind of see what the communications look like this way, and it helps for debugging to make sure everything's working properly. You can see here there are packets going back and forth. I'm basically waiting for a con ACK, meaning a connection acknowledgement. Once I get that, I should be connected. There, now I'm connected. So now I'll issue the nodes command again to view all of the nodes that the walker node knows about. So you can see it sees a few different nodes. I'm going to try to connect to the DC node, which is a primary node in my area. So I'll just type CDC, which means connect DC. Then I just need to wait a few moments while all the connection stuff happens in the back end. This can take a little bit of time since the communication has to happen between walker and DC, and maybe a node in between there, and then it has to be relayed back to me. And it's all over a 1200 baud connection, so it's not very fast. There, now I'm connected to the DC node. So I'll issue the nodes command again, and I'll be able to see all the nodes that the DC node knows about. You can see that this node knows about a lot of other nodes. It's sort of a primary hub for this region. Next I'll type the info command to get information about this node. So this is the Douglas County DC node stack. I can't talk to it directly because it's too far away, but what's really cool is I can log into it remotely through a series of other nodes. I'm sort of hopping from node to node all over different radio frequencies. Theoretically, you could travel all the way across the country this way if there were enough nodes set up and the connections were good, though it wouldn't be very fast. So now I'll type the by command to get back to my own node. Now I'll look at the nodes on my own system. If I type nodes with the asterisk, you can see the actual routes. So here, my system only sees the W7SLA1 node, which is the same as the Walker node. So basically what this table is showing is that all the nodes I know about are through that one. So if I try to connect to DC, I can't connect to it directly. But the system is smart enough to know that I can get to it through the W7SLA1 node. It's basically a routing table for packet radio. And this is done through the NetROM protocol. So now I'll try connecting directly to DC, even though I can't see that myself. The system is doing some stuff on the background going through the W7SLA1 node. And now you can see I'm connected directly to DC without having to manually hop through the walker node. And I'll type the info command just to make sure it's working. And there you go, you can see I'm connected to the Douglas County node. Now I'll quit out of here and go back to my own node. Now I'll display the commands you can see if you were to log into my node. The one I want to focus on is Zork. I added this one myself for a little bit of fun. So if you were to log into my node and type the Zork command, you'd actually be able to play the old school text adventure game Zork over packet radio. Again, I'm using Telnet just to demonstrate, but you could technically do this over the radio. It would be a lot slower than you see here, but it would still work. If you're interested in learning how to set up your own ham radio packet node, check out my website.
If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe to let me know.